Next day, we headed on up. We wanted to make our way north. Road days are always kind of nervous for me because you don't know what's going to happen. Is somebody forgetting to tighten their lug nuts or they're coming loose, drive shafts falling off. So road days sometimes can take absolutely a long time. So we got those big caravan of Jeeps going through, getting all kinds of cool looks. A lot of toll booths over there if you haven't been on the East Coast. Uh, kind of a mad rush hitting through the town. So we were going up through Massachusetts, had one, one little gas break and then off. So we hit the trailhead perfectly on time. It was right about 11 o'clock we were shooting for. It was Maybell Road. It's a old road that's just been washed out. So we were able to air down the very first obstacle right off of the road. So it was pretty cool. Everybody can see everybody climb it. Uh, There's a big steep hill climb, a steep face in the center, and then an off camber weird spot to the outside. And so everybody got to take their own lines. We were getting a little bit of rain, so it was a little bit of wet, uh, slippery. And the rocks are moving on you like it was not letting you grip, get any traction. You know, decent breakover angle. I mean, I gave her. I don't know, about 20,000 RPMs, it was still, <laughs> still good to go, man, smoking everything. The highlight of that obstacle was Dave for Synergy actually going in a snail's pace and picking the perfect line and working his tires and making it all the way up. To me, the line was all the way to the right and try to like pivot at the top. There was a nice little crack line. I know if I could get the sidewall of the tire up on that little crack, I know they'd bite. Went down to 6 PSI, which is a little lower, probably the lowest of any of these guys. And I knew that would make a difference. So that was super cool to see tractions of an all-terrain. So we went and hit a few obstacles up, and that trail is kind of an in and out anyway. So past there, it starts to get into loose rocks, big, big uh, ledges, and uh, everybody got to use four-wheel drive at that point. And everybody had to, everybody had to take a couple of bumps and stuff. So it was a good day. It was starting to get wet, kind of that typical East Coast wheeling. People are bouncing up the rocks right now, pretty fun. It's bouncing around the Northeast, pretty cool out here. It's slippery, just wet enough for slippery. Uh, we're aired up at uh, freeway pressures right now. We got 25 psi in the tires, so it's kind of bouncing around. We're gonna air down now, but uh, pretty fun. Lisa's daily driver out here. Uh, again, the truck's not about hardcore, but we'll bring it. There's bypasses if you don't want to do it, so it's not really a big deal. But how can you miss out on this epic granite wheeling right here? It's just so cool. If you're used to wheeling on the West Coast. We can kind of pick our line, crawl, make a judgment. Okay, we want to bump it. Over there, if you're trying to crawl most of the time, it's not gonna work. It's just kind of slip out of the way. You might have to use some momentum to go through it. Amazing wheeling. I love a challenge, and it was absolutely challenging. Being in the wet and all these slick rocks over here that we don't get on the West Coast, not like this. And moss covered everything. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we made a call. We had lunch lined up at one o'clock. All the stuff back east, man, if you haven't been back there, is super, it's really neat. It's just a, kind of a treasure. All these towns are older than our ghost towns on the west coast. This old restaurant, they opened up for us. They had all the food ready for us. Uh, we got to eat there. After that, we did about 40, 50 more miles. And then we went to another spot uh, in MA still. It's called Florida Road, another road uh, that was just totally washed out. So it's an easement all the way through. Uh, had a couple water crossings, had some big ledges, and uh, super neat that everybody got to got a chance to to really put their cars through the paces. It's nice to have the proper tools for the job. So uh, I left a bird's nest. It was kind of pull, hard to pull it out from the last time. So you should be trail prepped. But uh, it was really nice. Hooked the winch up, be able to pull me out of that crack. Still running, only running 37s on this thing, and boogie through. I think I'm going to attach this and get ready to be uh, using it. That's my plan. Yeah, we don't know what these gladiators are going to do. We've, we've been fortunate enough, you know, we've been, I've, I've had one for a while, been wheeling them, but there's five fresh builds out there and we got to get these gladiators and the wheelbases actually excel in some spots over the jail and then vice versa, you know, you got to pick your line. Rocky, slippery. Um, I think it's just what you thought East Coast wind would be. Pick a line and send it.
We got to put them through the paces, work our way all the way through in the daylight, and then we were able to make our way to the hotel right at sunset. It was perfect time. Uh, we nailed it. The group was working. Uh, it's an awesome, great group. So when we're putting these events together, it's pretty tough. You don't know what you're going to get. If they're going to clash, you're going to be holding each other up. If you got that guy, uh, at this point, we didn't have that guy. And uh, if you're that guy, you know who you are. We didn't have one. But uh, it was an awesome time.